our game store is about to be completely disassembled later this evening. It's going to be really, really crazy, so make sure you stick around. But for now, I'm here pretty early, about an hour and a half earlier than normal, waiting for FedEx and or DHL to drop off our packages, not only for the Zelda game that comes out tomorrow, but also the pre-order boxes, which have been stuck in customs for like 12 or 13 days, something like that. It's been really crazy, extremely stressful, and I hope that we are not screwed here with this pre-order. We have these components here ready to go for it. We have our custom reversible cover art. We have our sticker sheets, which are amazing, but we still need the boxes and the actual games. And the games say out for delivery right now, according to the tracking from FedEx. As you guys probably know, we don't have a great track history with FedEx. I absolutely hate them. They are terrible. Their service is awful. They never want to deliver stuff on time. And so when we got the tracking number yesterday, because the package was overnighted, we called FedEx and we're like, listen, you better deliver this package. Here's a tracking number. Here's our address. We are open. We will be there. Do not drive by and say that we're closed. Do not put a note on the door and say that we're not here. We are here, we're ready for the package. They better freaking get it to us. We will definitely talk more about the Zelda game later in this video, but for now, we have a bunch of orders to pull. UPS is here, not who I was expecting, but he said he has something for us. I'm not really even sure what most of this is. This is a little package of games, um, but I'm not sure what the rest of the stuff is. Um, those look like bags, like shopping bags, which we did order. Um, this is from the Boxery, which is a place we've been getting like boxes, bubble mail or stuff like that from. Uh, but that one, I'm not sure. So I guess let's open these. And if there's anything interesting, I'll show you. This little shipment of games is one last breath for Switch, PS5, and then for some reason, Seed of Life for the Xbox One. This game came out a while ago. <laughs> um, I don't know why those are in there. This one is shopping bags. This one is boxes for shipping vinyl records or strategy guides. This one is also shopping bags. And this one is from Venom and it's addressed to me and Abby. Um, I'm not sure what that is. So I'll wait for Abby to get here before we open this one. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I talked to DHL. Yeah. The package is currently on a flight which seems weird because it was scanned at like five o'clock this morning. So for it to still be on a flight from LA to Portland yeah. seems a little weird. That's only like a couple hours. <laughs> so I can schedule it to, for me to pick it up, which could maybe be today. But if it's not today, that's going to delay it. Otherwise it's scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. What's the delay? Does he, did he say, is it like a, another? It would probably be another day for them to like load it back from wherever the pickup area is back onto a truck to then be delivered. Yeah. That's a really tough call. Yeah, that is a tough call. I'm gonna wait maybe an hour or two and then call back or see if the tracking updates. Once it's in Portland, then maybe I could be like, hey, can I pick it up? And then maybe it'll be like, yeah, you can pick it up in an hour. Then I'll do that. <laughs> Man, okay. Yeah, that is, that is a tough one. <laughs> I hate this! It's happening. So the Zelda games just got delivered. We have two big boxes here. We're gonna get to those real quick, but there was also a third box, which is smaller and was addressed to Sit Cooper, which is me. But I don't know what this is. I don't remember really having ordered anything. What is it? Maybe I did? Oh yes, now I remember because I'm seeing it. What is it? It's something real cool. What is it? And I don't think that this is gonna be for Ooh. sale. Ooh. Uh, come on! <laughs> Whoa. This is a factory sealed what? Zelda Phantom Hourglass DS Lite special edition bundle. Dang. Um, these boxes, they don't come like wrapped and they don't come with sticker seals. The tops are just glued. Um, and the original 3DS boxes are also like this. So pretty cool. Um, someone contacted us and they're like, Hey, I, you know, I want to sell this. And originally I think it was going to be for the store. 
Um, but then I, after we had like made the deal and everything, I realized we don't even have this one in the collection yet. Dang. I don't really care about having it factory sealed, but um, it'll be kind of like a placeholder for now. And then once we can find an opened one, I'll swap it out and then we'll sell this one. But very, very cool. That's cool. Look at all those boxes. Ugh. Look, look. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm in the U-Haul now. We're just picking it up. As you guys can see, it's raining outside. So this is gonna be super fun to load grid from our storage unit into this thing. And look what I have to drive through. It's like, the mirrors are like almost touching the one beside me. This is a 20 foot truck. <sighs> it's gonna be a little scary, but I also got a text message from DHL saying that the boxes are being delivered today. Uh, should be between 1 and 3 p.m., which is perfect. So we're gonna, Bobby and I are going to load up the grid wall, we'll head back to the store and get all those things hopefully shipped out. And then we're closing at five to start packing up the store. Our cameraman is going to be here filming. So at some point I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop filming and he'll start filming. And then we're going out to dinner. Then we got 9 p.m. Zelda release. And then tomorrow we set up at PRGE. Let's get to the storage unit. All right, guys, we are ready. Oh, uh, should I have pulled forward more? <laughs> I forgot about this place. So did I. Yeah, I'll pull forward. But this is what we're loading up. All the grid, all these totes, and then all of these little glass cases. So we've gotten most of it in. We have all those and all these. And Bobby is going to his car to see if he's got any ratchet straps. Otherwise, he's gonna have to drive back to the store and pick some up. So we have them there. We just, they weren't in the storage unit. Um, we always tried to load it like this. And every time I start driving and they all fall. <laughs> so they definitely need to be strapped in. Uh, but usually we can't even get them to stand up like this in here because they're, they're one, they want to fold. So hopefully he's got some. If not, it'll take a few extra minutes, but it's gonna be a really good pack this time. I just got confirmation from Abby that DHL delivered our boxes. I cannot tell you guys how much of a stress relief that is for me. Um, obviously you heard me talking about this kind of stuff earlier in the video a little bit, but I was very stressed about this. And the fact that they're already there right now is super, super cool. That makes me feel awesome. As soon as Bobby and I get back with the grid wall, we don't have anything else to worry about. We're not loading the truck until tomorrow morning. So from as soon as we get back until 5 PM, all I'm doing is working on putting these, these I almost call them collector's editions, putting these pre-orders together we have the boxes which need to be folded together and then the game goes inside with the new artwork wrapped around it and the sticker sheet as well. So we gotta do all that. I also have to package up hundreds of them for shipping and hopefully get all those shipped out before we close at 5 p.m. That is not going to be easy, but I think we can do it. We got everything ratchet strapped in. We had to get a little creative with it, but it works. So there we go. Should be good. This one obviously is <laughs> not connected to the wood, but uh, it'll be fine. They're all held up here. So should be good. We just have a few more things to load, but this is all the grid. We just have the um, the little glass case things and all of the empty tubs, totes, tubs, whatever they are. Abby's calling people to come pick up their copies tonight and Bobby and Colton are putting everything together. So boxes get folded, everything gets put inside and then this is what the final result looks like and everything is in there. So freaking awesome. Doing a time lapse for you guys too. And I'm going to work on shipping labels because we need to get these things shipped ASAP. And most people got, you know, most people got one copy. A couple orders are two copies, which, um, you know, we'll just do those ones first, probably get them knocked out. So all the rest is just one copy. We're not going to print um, packing slips for them because they're all just the same thing. And if we don't print packing slips, we can just get them all packaged up and then slap a label on each one. It'll be good to go. So there are like 300 of these things that need to be shipped, but doing it this way is going to be very, very quick. All right, so pretty much everyone is here now. We're all working on stuff. 
Bobby, Colton, and I are still working on the Zelda games, trying to get those shipped, but everyone else is going to start packing up games and everything, so it's now officially time for me to introduce Nathan, and he is going to be filming for us this weekend, so thank you. No problem. And I'm going to basically pass it off to him, so from this point on, it'll be all clips that he's filming. You ready? Excited. Excited, ready for the weekend, on the hunt for some games also, and just excited for the weekend, so... Don't all roast right. me in the comments, guys, all right? Just <laughs> here for a good time. Jesse's still editing, but he's going to be filming. <laughs> so let's go. Yeah, so I... Uh, Came in today. It's my it's supposed to be my day off because I have school on Wednesdays. But I offered to come in and help get these put together. And uh, since I'm putting these together and it's kind of pressing that we get them done tonight, I get to get out of packing up for PRG. So, not bad. Must ask for the people. You got a favorite GameCube game? Um. Fantasy Star Online, episode one and two. I always tell people to play that game. Um, like my sophomore year of high school, I spent the entire summer at a friend's house. And all we did for like 10 hours a day was play that game. It was so good. <laughs> the fact that it's like local multiplayer, and it's just like, I don't know, the, the grinding aspect, upgrading your gear, leveling up and stuff like that, it was fun. Oh, just getting ready for PRG, getting the NES games all situated and packed up. Yeah. You got a strategy here, packing um, up? Just trying not to grab too many of the same game because we got like, you know, 20 of some games. So I'm trying to grab like three or four like of each game and everything else that, you know, we have just a little bit of. But yeah, I uh, don't want to bring the whole store because, you know, that will take up too much, too much room. Yeah. Yeah. If, he would, yeah. He, tried. he would bring the whole store if he could. Um, and that wouldn't be fun for me. Um, <laughs> but so far, it's, it's going good. That's good. <laughs> Top three favorites. Go. Oh, uh, Super Mario RPG, Mega Man X, and. Oh, man. Put you on the spot. Super Mario World. That. There you go. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Underrated. Super game? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Paperboy 2. This is actually a very good game, but it's also very difficult. Uh, another one that's not here on the shelf, uh, Bart's Nightmare. That's one of the best super games. Like, it's very difficult, but there's so many, like, little mini games in it, it, it makes up for it. And where, okay. where, and where can they get Paperboy 2? Oh, they could get it right here at Double Jump Video Games or at PRGE where we're going to have Paperboy 2. For you know, my pick for underrated super famous? Yeah. Tetris Attack. Oh, that's a good one. Not that's enough people one. know about that one. I did a staff pick on it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You should still play it. I agree with that, man. <laughs> Sega CD now? Yeah. I have to be very selective in Sega Saturn because only so much fits in that box. I'm probably taking most of it anyways, but there's so many expensive Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. Like, there's multiple $300 games in there. <laughs> what are we doing here? Just packing up some Zelda pre-orders. Nice little bubble wrap. Look at these fancy little jewelry boxes we got. Bam. So it just gets set in there, closed, and then I won't do the tape part because it's really loud and obnoxious and I'll spare you guys from that, but yeah, and it looks like this. This is what you get for getting out of packing, right? Yeah. Yep. Only got a hundred and something more. Almost there. <laughs> Third of the way there. <laughs> but, yeah. Still trying to get the Zelda stuff done, but feeling good so far. Everyone's doing their thing. We're gonna be heading to dinner very soon. And 
I think that we'll be able to get all the Zelda games shipped out by tomorrow morning, which will be awesome. So we're gonna try to get all those ship labels printed tonight and get all this stuff packed up. And then tomorrow, time to load. Where are we going for dinner? We're going to, God, what is it called? Hmm? Colton, what's the sushi place called? Go to? Sushi Hana? Yeah, we're going to Sushi Hana. Uh, I and Colton get the spicy ramen, and then they all get sushi. <laughs> I also get the sesame balls. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go eat some sushi, and then back to the store to pack things up. Good vibes. Cooper, where are we going? We're going to the Bat Cave. Or bat, bat, cave bat Cave game. <laughs> we call it the Bat Cave. Are you looking to get something? Um, probably not, but they do have this cool shadow thing and I don't know what it is. What you get? Got one piece cards. Who is this? He's got like dust and stuff in <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> We got 55, 55 more minutes. minutes. We, I think we have enough ready to go for the people picking up pre-orders tonight, um, but I do want to get these done for shipping because we have to ship them as well. And we're gonna try to ship all of them tomorrow morning. But as you can see, I just wrapped the case in the alternate artwork and then I'm putting it that in the box and then I'm holding this so the artwork doesn't get pushed down any further. Sliding the sticker sheet in the front so that it doesn't get screwed up by the box tab. And then I'm just ensuring that the tabs go down nicely and that these go in softly and securely without bending too much. And bam. That's Look at that. And who did all those boxes? Me! Me! Jess, Jesse, insert the... The baby. The, the, time, the, baby the time lapse. Oh yeah, yeah, the time. <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought you were talking about the baby where it's like, who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? <laughs> Me! <laughs> who wants to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? Me! What are we doing over here? Uh, we are packing up some stuffies. And slushies. Yeah. These boys. These guys. They're up too high for me to get some help from Brian. Help me. Hey. Oh. These are the All right, guys. That is it for today. We have some sleep to get. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, for the setup. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It is Thursday, day before PRGE opens. As you can see, it's a little early. We are currently at the shop waiting for the gang to get here. We're going to load the U-Haul and then head to the convention center and get everything set up. So uh, we'll wait here, wait for everybody to get here and... We'll get things loaded up and headed down to the convention center. Let's get into it. Good day. It's a great day. I'm hoping I'm on a little waiting list because they're doing the 30th anniversary. Sony's doing that. So I want to get one of the controllers. I don't want to, you don't want to spend the money on a system, but I want that little controller. It's so cool. But like I joined the queue at 5 a.m. and it was like, oh, you're early. And it like put me in the queue. I think it said I was like 500 or something like that. And then it all went down, and then now it just says the lines paused. So I don't know if I lost my spot or what. And they were supposed to go live at 7 a.m. So, fingers crossed. Hope you get it. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Coop. Good morning, and welcome to setup day. Let's get started.
the current situation. I gotta pack everything up. All of this. And into the U-Haul. All right, Cooper, U-Haul is filling up. I think we're pretty close to being done with the U-Haul. This kind of stuff, you can't really stack too high, so. But I think this is just about done. And then whatever else we take, we'll go into people's cars. All right, what's our update here? I'm down, I'm down in one minute. We're, we're, we're down at the wire. So hopefully we can get our portal and our controller. I believe in you. I'm hoping so. Good luck. Thank you. Um, I don't know, but I'm I'm half, I'm really tired, but I'm making it. Yeah. Hi. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got everything loaded up, and then there's various people waiting for their PlayStation queue, and I guess there was a queue for the queue. Um, Kyle was late. <clears throat> What else? Nothing much. I think we're just waiting for Colton to get done with school. We have all these packages, but there's addresses showing, so be careful. And then <laughs> <laughs> um, these are going to get dropped off today. And then all of our pre-orders got picked up. Not all of them, but most of them. And then we're taking out the trash now. All right. For myself, this is my first retro gaming expo. So I have a little hunt for myself. Just two things I'm looking for. I'm looking for Disney Skate on the GameCube. It's one of my favorite games of all time best soundtrack and then I'm looking for a handheld maybe Game Boy Color Game Boy uh, Advance we'll see what I can find but uh, as you can see stores clearing out we're gonna be heading to the convention center so let's have a great day here we are the Thursday before PRGE starts up here in the south side of the convention center right now where Tabletop Gaming is, the Termin Arena, the Lockbuster, and the Autograph area. Not the layout I expected. I didn't think there was gonna be another booth so close. This is so far. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my fingers. Good job. That was a long walk. You guys are doing great. You're doing great. It's gonna be a llama. What? Wait, is that the Portland llamas? Oh my god. No drama, just a llama. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Ryan? Uh, grid wall stuff. Um, I don't know. What's going on? Uh, nothing much, really. I, I, I don't know where all the vendors are at. I don't. I don't think they're coming. I think this is it for PRGE. This is this is the turnout. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? No water, no food. Um, been stranded on this island for about three weeks now. And, uh, you know, I'm just... 
I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. I'm proud. I just want to know. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Look all. Look what you did. <laughs> all right. So we're uh, waiting on Cooper to show up because he's got final say in the plans of the layout of the booth. Um, our main concern right now is the uh, tables um, right here, and then that one over there, because. Um, they're supposed to go here. Um, here's our little map. So, so the table is supposed to be like here and over there. But and then he even wants grid wall, like in between the tables. But I don't think we can fit any of that. It's um, it's a tight squeeze for sure. Um, and uh, we're just kind of playing the waiting game until him and Bobby get back because we can't really do much. We brought too much stuff as we always do. Um, and it doesn't fit. So come by our stuff. So I've been putting grid wall up here. It looks nice, but I think I did it wrong and I might have to restart. Kinda. I just think I need to shift stuff down, but it's going, I'm, I'm doing it. We are still waiting on Bobby and Cooper to get back, but Things are getting better behind us. It looks like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Rita's Rewind. I guess it's a new Power Rangers game coming out. I went to the store to pick up the packages for uh, the Zelda games to get those shipped out so people can get those. We went to UPS, USPS. I picked up Cooper and now we're here. So the booth is, I would say like 60, 70% set up, which is awesome. We're just waiting to get all the tables in place and all the stuff on the tables, but the majority of the grid is set up, which is cool. I'm excited to show you guys once it's completely done because it's going to look awesome. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Ryan made a, a door. He made a door. And now it closes itself. See that? Bam. Engineering at its finest. You just use a bungee cord. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of myself. Yeah. Ryan has the most important job right now. Yeah. Getting up the sign so people knew who we are. They know who you are. No. Nobody knows who. And that's how I like it. You're I want to keep mystery. it that way. I'm a mystery. <laughs> I'm an enigma. All right. So where are we putting this? Uh, we're gonna be putting it on the way up here. We're gonna lift it even more, so it's gonna be like up in the air. Um, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's been a long day so far. Very tired. I got like four and a half hours of sleep, and I showed up late because I was so tired. <laughs> but we're just doing the final touches, I think, before we. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm so tired. Wait, we need we need more stuff from the store though, unfortunately. Like more hooks, more shelves. More everything. Alright, it's Thursday. It's like 1 p.m. We're almost done with the booth. Other vendors are slowly coming in. How's morale right now? Oh, well, you know, everybody's just tired and sometimes it's a little hard to to... Oh, He's gone. <laughs> oh, I like where Ryan's head's at, just sandwiched in between there. Yeah, he did that inside. Ah. Like, no, See guys, fun. Ryan has a big brain. That's a recall. Yeah. Big brain movement. I thought we were going up on top. <laughs> no. Looks good. I feel like I could be helping. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I've been staying here for so long, I might as well just commit to it. You're doing great. I think they got it. Yeah, you're, you're doing great. So, I have something to say about the state of affairs. Oh yeah, not, not about that, but that's cool. But I was sent to the exhibitor services because they handle like giving Pete the booths tables and chairs and whatnot. They give us four chairs um, with 12 vendor badges. So, problem one, number one. But when I went to go ask for more chairs, um, they're like, oh, it's $92 and like 50 something cents. And I was like, oh, is that for like four more chairs that I was asking for? And she was like, no, that's for one chair. 
And I was like, to rent for the next three days? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And the other thing we wanted was to swap out two of these eight foot tables for six foot tables. And they're like, we cannot do that. What we can do is we can remove tables, but then we have to charge you $225 to rent two extra tables each, 225 each for the six foot tables that we were requesting. So we're not going to be doing any of that. We'll be bringing extra chairs from other places. You should be proud of yourself. You know it. Uh, Abby, um, tell us about Mudang. Mudang is the cutest pygmy hippo baby ever. And I love them. And I also love Pesto. Yeah, Pesto is a fantastic little penguin. Um, he's not little, though. He's like the biggest penguin uh, born in captivity. Um, and then Mudang is a baby little pygmy hippo. And she's so cute. And she's real angry. And she hates rubber boots. And I love that. Anything else? I really like penguins. Penguins, yes. All right, back to you. All, all right. Um, so there. Do y'all may I ask a question? What do you think is the most expensive item that's going to sell first? And I would have to say that I think, um, hmm, it'd probably be. Something on the back wall. I'm thinking the Nier Automata. I think that'll sell. It's the uh, collector's edition. Uh, it's factory sealed. It's gone down in price quite a bit. So it's probably going to sell. That's my guess. So the thing, the most expensive thing I think is going to sell first is the Pokemon box for $7,000, I think. Factory sealed. All right. What do I think is going to sell? That's going to like the most expensive or the first thing that's going to sell? Most expensive thing that's going to sell. Uh, I don't think Pokemon Box is going to sell. So I'm going to say the PS5 that we got in the box. That's probably the most expensive thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the most expensive thing I think that's going to sell this weekend is. Hmm. Hmm, we got a lot of good stuff. I really, I mean, it's not the highest ticket item we have, but I think the the uh, Japanese 64 will go really quick. It has Pokemon cards in it, like special cards. So that I think is going to go pretty fast. I'm hoping someone just buys all the Jacks, all those special edition Jacks all together. Someone needs them. Um, that's all that's popping to mind right now. I think, I think Pokemon Box is going to sell. And I think that Cooper is going to accept an offer on it. I got a lucky feeling someone's gonna buy Pokemon Box. I think someone's gonna get that. I think someone's gonna see that as factory sealed. And they're gonna want it. And and so it was. And they'll have a new home. What about you? What do you think? The tides have turned, I guess. Um, I'm gonna throw one out here, actually. Hmm. Of course, everybody wants Box. I think someone's gonna bundle some of the Sega Genesis games together. I'm going to throw that out there. We'll see, though. It's been a great day here today. The booth is almost done. Vendors are starting to pour in. The arcade is almost fully open. Tetris is still setting up. It's going to be a good weekend. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. Can do this or something like that? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> For today, we are pretty much done with setup. We have a few more things we have to bring from the store, which we're going to do tomorrow. Just like some extra little shelves and hooks and baskets for plushies and stuff like that. But for today, this is where we're at. So we have our checkout area here. So Abby's going to be running that for the most part. We have obviously the grid along the back, which has all the boxed consoles, the big plushies, just all the really large items that you can still see from out here. And as we go around, we have glass cases with the more expensive games. We have four here. We have Gashapon machines on the corner right here. And then we have the rest of our little glass cases. We have some random stuff sitting around still. And then we have some more expensive games in here. All of these 3DS and DS games are going to be going on shelves on the grid in here. We're going to be doing that all the way down. So there are, it looks like we have too much, but once we get those shelves, it'll be nice and full. 
Continuing down, this little section is NES, Super Nintendo, and 64, and a little bit of Saturn. We have some Pokemon card stuff and Game Boy stuff on the middle table there, which you can see, but you'll have to ask to get it. You can't just grab it. Obviously, this stuff will be going on shelves here. This next one is the PlayStation area. More stuff for the shelves there as well. And then we have some plushies and stuff on the grid. And then the last little section here is Wii, Wii U, and Xbox stuff. And then we have our banners and everything is set up and we'll finish up tomorrow, but for now it's looking pretty good. These are Ryan's. I told him that he should get them. <laughs> like uh, better late than never. Your dad will love that. And, <laughs> and then I got learn about recycling. Nice. And then we have uh, what I'm deeming as Pimp Mickey. He's got a gold chain. Very nice, right very nice. We love that. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today, guys. So we're going to go home and get some rest, and we'll be back tomorrow. Make sure you come back, check out the extra special PRGE vlog. I don't know when it's being uploaded, but soon. <laughs>